many other things they should be concerned about. Why? They should be concerned about those people that they should go, those people should go to, to psychologists or psychiatrists because it's not us which are wrong, it's them who are wrong. You see? And it's only those people who are not educated who suddenly have problems with miniskirts. I've never heard of a business prominent man who has raped someone because of wearing a miniskirt. So those ones that are saying it's not African, so they are wrong or they're not, not African. Not African, huh? Sex before marriage is not African as well. <laughs> a lot of things are not African as well, but then they have the miniskirts. Then they should do all those things. They should also, they should also incriminate everyone who's having sex who are not married. <laughs> it's the same. I see you look good in your miniskirt. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very proud. <laughs> and it's hot. It's hot. The girls are somehow given reasons why men sometimes, you know, break them. So the issue of the miniskirt was really on Yes, miniskirt is not the cause of girls to be raped. Girls can still wear their jeans, their pants on, but they still be red. Yeah, for mini skirts, they should not be that short, but at least underneath the knees. So above the knees, just a little yeah, bit above the knees. knees. Do you wear, do you wear mini skirts? No, I don't wear mini skirts, but then I don't see any problem with mini skirts. I, I, I actually don't wear them because I don't look, look good in them, but for the, some people put them on because they look good in it. And they really feel comfortable when they have them. Something like this is supposed to be like this. Not something that goes until like the end when you are passing by the guy. And then when, even morning. when it's blowing, you are like, yeah, you don't are even know. No. <laughs> People who wear them themselves know they are not decent. That is why they don't wear them in formal. Uh, formal situation, formal settings. They wear, they wear them when they are with their peers, their colleagues. I think that it, it has to do with peer pressure, uh, just to belong among their co colleagues. In, in terms of formal settings, what do you mean? Uh, at home, it, at home, they don't wear those things. At church, they don't wear when they are going to uh, to school or, or any other uh, places. Then they, they, that's when the world is. Um, last question: Should it be banned or not? Yes, uh, should it be banned? I don't know. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Mr. Patrick. <laughs> okay, okay. So, do you think education at home regarding the issue of how you should be present, presentable in my house and outside there plays a role? Just because I am black, that makes me African, and that makes me hmm, society has to judge me. Now, religion judges me also, and the culture judges me already. And they do not only judge me, but they define who I am. When they define who I am, that means even what I put on the inside for me. Because if I put on a miniskirt, I'm regarded as a prostitute. With somebody who wants something else. Somebody who's out there to provoke me. Isn't it? Uh, but that is my religion that defines me, or my culture that defines me. But what about my own feelings? What you put on, whether it's me, my daughter, or my sister, or my aunt, or whoever, whether they put on something short or not, whether they're going to work or not, whether they're going to a concert or not, mm -hmm. they put it on because they feel that they are comfortable. It's all about comfortability. Mm -hmm. Somebody says you can put on something that you don't feel comfortable in. Or maybe the reason why people are bearing miniskirts is because it's mostly black who are raped. But blacks who are raped are those that are putting on miniskirts. But I don't know how many cases that people were raped and were found putting on miniskirts. Mm -hmm. We had a case of somebody who was raped and they were not in miniskirts. They were in trousers. But I don't know how many cases. I don't know how many cases you have come across where people were raped and they were in miniskirts. But then if you are saying people should stop putting on miniskirts, in particular you are saying women should stop putting on miniskirts, right? It's like you are ripping them off something that makes them feel good, something that they are entitled to because it's their woman rights, which is human rights. I'm a woman, but I am not entitled to my rights to put on something that makes me comfortable, which is a miniskirt. So if you are asking me if I am for or against, I don't see anything wrong with anybody who is putting on a miniskirt, however it should be the definition of a miniskirt. What is our definition of a miniskirt? Is it something that comes up to my butt? Is it something that comes up to my ankles or my knees? Is it something that goes all the way to the ground? 
or is it something that does not cover my knee? And if it does not cover my knee, yeah, does it mean that if I'm putting on something that does not cover my knee, that I need to be violated, I should be raped, or I'm provoking somebody's feelings, or I don't look good? Right? Now, who says if I put on a trouser as this one I'm putting on, or the long one, that I look good? Is it your own definition, society's definition, culture's definition, or my individual definition? Mm -hmm. Because you consider, they say, you know moods, we have moods, we have personalities. Sure. The reason why you have a red shirt on, maybe you were feeling happy. The reason why he have that vest on, maybe he was feeling good. The reason why I'm in white, maybe I was sad when I put on white, or I put on the pants. Right? Maybe the reason why I put on a mini skirt, I just feel good that I want to put on a mini skirt, but I don't put it on with the intention of provoking you or provoking another man there to come and harass me. When he puts on his shorts, mm, should I go after him and I say, I did it because he was in shorts?